So today, Zechariah chapter 14, verses 13 to 15, Armageddon 2. It shall come to pass in that day that a great panic from the Lord will be among them. Everyone will seize the hand of his neighbor and raise his hand against his neighbor's hand. Judah also will fight at Jerusalem, and the wealth of all the surrounding nations shall be gathered together, gold, silver, and apparel in great abundance. Such also shall be the plague on the horse and the mule, on the camel and the donkey, and on all the cattle that will be in those camps. So shall this plague be. So all the nations are gathered against the Lord. Their alliances, their weapons, everything they have, it's all, they've pulled it all up. They're gathered up around. And you know, the we looked at it yesterday morning, uh, Revelation 20. Uh, God's people had been taken to heaven a thousand years gone by. Now the new Jerusalem's come down. The wicked are resurrected, and they come up to surround the holy city and you know again if it was like uh is there any last anybody that wants to repent now's the time nobody raises a hand nobody would repent the devil guides them all and they all come in for one last final attack on the holy city we talked about it yesterday so here they are with all their military might it was represented of course to zakaria as i'm sure as as cavalry as horses and and arrows and swords and all that if we were to see it and if it's going to happen in our day roughly uh yeah we'd probably see tanks and planes and and bombs and and all that in any case they come they they gather everybody's gathered against god they all come and surround the city they're going to make one last attempt to cross the walls and enter the city you know that if they could do it they would rip god from his throne and they'd rip him up into little pieces and scatter him to the winds but of course they can't do that and all their might all their power is going to come up against god their their ideas have been shown to be useless uh without foundation all their objections against god are really useless because god is other love god is unselfishness he is love he would give for others and yet these people are determined to take for themselves and we kind of wind up in one or the other basket in the end we are choosing self-service or we're choosing other service and so yeah, we've all kind of come together. This is at the grand finale. Their attacks against God are really madness. It's a demonstration of, of crazy. There's no reason for their discontent. Ironically, there is violence and mayhem and panic here mixed in with this destruction. God sends a panic among them. And this isn't the first time in the Bible, not at all. Several other times we've seen this. Well, they come to do mayhem against God's people. And then what? God intervenes so that they're struck blind or or something like that, and they begin to attack each other. Here's yet one more case, and this is the case apparently at the at the very end of time. So all the military hardware on planet Earth is marshaled. They're all there. They're going to do their ultimate that they can do against God, but they wind up fighting each other. It's a panic. Everything is 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 chaos. It's all unleashed. The end of, of this self-serving behavior is self-destruction, and there it is uh, right there before everybody's eyes. Everything comes to nothing. There's nothing left. Satan's arguments are done. There is no more argument. By demonstration, unselfishness, it's proven to be right, and selfishness is proven to be self-destruction. And, and there is the universe. Why continue uh, this at this point? So in the end, there's no weapon that's formed against the Lord that will stand. In the end, there is no cause against God. Love has been shown to be the ultimate Everything else is, is basically self, self-destruction, self self-hatred. So there's no reason for it to continue anymore, and God will bring it to a rapid conclusion at this point. There is no force against love that can prevail. In the end, self-love is, is shown to be hatred toward others. So God will finish it, and it'll be absolutely crystal clear, and we'll be off into a new space, a space where we've all kind of nailed it down. God's way is best. And the solution in the end is we all have clear picture, clear knowledge, a clear rec- recognition that this way ends this way, this way ends that way, and we know one way can last for eternity, and one way will always cut short prematurely, always end in destruction. So there's Zechariah. There we go, Armageddon 1 and 2. Tomorrow morning, we'll come into the last parts of the prophecies of Zechariah. God bless you.